The answer is they're Carol stupid. On Twitter for a very stupid take. They claim that all white people are racist with no exceptions. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get popping, dude. Another fucking... Another, like, random TikTok rad lib who says white people are racist or whatever or is doing, like, some Im Ibra uh, Ibram Kendi shit that people are going to misconstrue. Just by being born white, you are somehow evil and you should spend your entire life atoning for your sins. Now, I went to their TikTok just to check if this was like a one-off video. Maybe they were really drunk one day, right? But apparently this is their entire personality. Every video is pretty much hating on people who've done nothing wrong and making them feel really horrible about themselves while simultaneously- This is a very weird Nick is not green take. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, how are you going to do Nick like that? That is fucked up, bro. That's so fucked up, chatter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, come on. Nick is, Nick is that dude, okay? He's that guy. Looking like a flaming hot Cheeto. So let's take a look. Sorry about the watermark. The original video was just deleted. I'm feeling spicy, so here's my hot take of the day. All white people are racist. Oh, it's from Libs of TikTok. He he sources from Libs of TikTok. Nice. Nick is not green from Walmart. Yeah. Um. Ay ay ay, dude. Bro. There is no planet in which you look at a person who's dressed like this and go, "Well, let me get some sound opinions that I can generalize about an entire group of people." Like, like that's it. They're already signaling to you that you're gonna see some shit that you might not agree with. He said he had to get it from there because the original one was deleted. Yeah. This person's going to grow up and they're going to probably, like, they're probably going to have different perspectives or figure out a way to better communicate their ideas because, like, their ideas are probably not, like, completely wrong. But it's just, like, insane to just do this kind of thing. Every single last one of them, all of them are racist. And I don't mean that to say, like, every single individual white person, if I talk to you, you would have some kind of racist ideology. I'm saying that as a white person, you uphold a system of racism by literally just being white. I believe. Oh, I hate this take so much. It's so stupid. It's just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Stop saying based. Shut up. It's like biological essentialism, but woke, dude. But do it woke like. Okay, like, yeah, you, you just like immediately uphold the white supremacy by existing. Defend yourself now. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm racist, so I will not be doing that. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Um, it's just it, it's so stupid. It, it is so profoundly fucking stupid. Okay. And there is a brand of like white person that that uh, fucking agrees with this shit. You really became Hank Law? Yeah. If you're not spending your literal entire life dismantling racism, then you're contributing to its continuation. So you're telling me that... Like, what? Oh my God, I was so right. Okay. Everything, every single thing that she said, every single thing that she said is technically not incorrect, but delivered in the spiciest fucking way that you can. Okay. Like, the idea that you can either be racist or anti-racist and actively work against dismantling racist structures is correct. Okay? It's correct. Yeah. That part is not wrong. Okay? But there is an infinitely better way to, like, deliver this information rather than, uh, rather than just being, like, when you're existing as a white person in society, you're immediately fucking uh, defending and upholding white supremacy. That just because somebody was born a certain race or a certain skin color, which is completely out of their control, by the way, they should... You have to be an activist not to be racist? No, you don't have to be an activist. But, like, what that means is, one, learning, understanding... Learning and understanding uh, racial dynamics and racial oppression and not turning a blind eye to it, checking your friends every now and then if they're, like, behaving out of pocket... That sort of thing is not being a fucking activist, okay? I'm not saying go take it to the fucking streets and fight for it, okay? Just be normal. Just be normal. That's my take. Treat every single person like you would want to be treated. It's like a pretty basic fucking perspective, okay? Oh, my God, bro. Please go back to socialism. That jump was too quick. Yeah, I know. It's such a big jump. It's such a it's such a big fucking jump.
That's not quite what she said, lol. Well, I fuck this guy, but also she's like being fucking uh, aggressive as well. You uphold a system of racism by literally just being white is is just like rad libbed up. Being white. I believe if you're not spending your literal entire life dismantling racism... Like, spend your literal entire life dismantling racism is insane. Okay? What the fuck is that? I hate this. I hate this because, like, it is it's just straight up fucking rage bait, okay? It's rage bait. It's literally what you're doing, though. She's right, though. It's literally what you're doing, though. Yeah, and I'm racist, so what does that say to you? You know what I mean? South Yemeni Marxist? Exactly. Yeah, think about that, bitch. Boom. Got him. Murat! Kapı! Ne olur çabuk! Sorry, I had to get Murat to get the door. ...then you're contributing to its continuation. So you're telling me that just because somebody was born a certain race or a certain skin color, which is completely out of their control, by the way, they should spend their entire life obsessing over race kind of like you do as if they've done something individually bad yeah i think you're straight out the loony bin i don't know what it is with the uh, the old colored hair and nose ring this dude is a trash taste plushie in the back yeah this dude's gonna be real pissed when i'm on trash taste my episode when that drops gonna be like i fucking hate trash taste now it's changed so this sucks it sucks because it's like a bit hysterical uh the energy is not in the incorrect uh place but it's gonna get picked apart it's like designed to be picked apart by uh fucking dudes like this who will just be like oh my god i'm gonna defend white people because this person is crazy okay but no way is this dude making fun of someone else's looks yeah i know i didn't want to say anything but that is pretty funny like you know uh objectively speaking uh while she does have like a, a unique sense of style I would go so far as to say that she is uh, at least upholding aesthetic principles infinitely better than this fucking guy. So I don't know where that's coming from. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's an that's a odd thing to fucking say. This is taking critical race theory and using it to such a degree that it just loses the plot. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I hate when people who are ostensibly on the right side of politics will turn around and fucking become the cartoonish depiction that the right presents the left as. I don't know what it is with uh, the old colored hair and nose ring. It's like a 9 out of 10 chance at this point. Like, I'm not even making up these statistics. Like, actually, there seems to be some bizarre correlation here. I'm really sorry if you're like a normal person who just wanted to dye your hair or like, kind of look cool, maybe look like an anime character. Uh, it's kind of been ruined by these people. Also, spoiler, uh, judging an entire race just by their skin color, an attribute they can't change anyways, is... <laughs> it's not even a judgment. Like, this person is wrong because they're going overboard. Okay? With their with their sentiment. They're, they're going overboard. But also, does this guy not have a fucking, uh, like... I, I don't get it. Does he have, does he not own a mirror? Like what's happening? Why, why is he doing this? I don't understand why he's doing this. Like I, I would never, if I, let me tell you something. Okay. I shit on people's looks all the time and it's really fucked up. It's probably one of my worst aspects. It's very shallow. It's very vain. It's very fucking uh, it, shitty. I do it all the time, but at least I own a mirror. You know what I mean? Like, come on. I would not. I would not. If I was in his shoes, I just wouldn't ever make. I wouldn't ever fucking talk about like appearances. You know what I mean? Because then it kind of brings the criticism back to you, you know? And, and my dog, you are not looking too great in that combo. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just not, it's not great. Like I would literally try to avoid that conversation. Like the top of the hour ad break. He's white knighting to try and get some Candace Owens money. Yeah, but we we don't consider that white knighting because he's doing it on the on like a center right uh, perspective. So that's uh, that's actually good. That's honest. Just like when you're edgy and sometimes racist, you're truthful and real. 
But when you're doing it on the left side, then you're disingenuous and just saying things so that people, you know, people listen to you and like you. Remember that. White knighting cannot be done towards reactionary values. Majority of the people that participate in American politics are just the same cultural reflection from different mirrors, just suburbanites picking between two different sets of anxieties. A good take. Dude, you aren't even wrong on this. Just like Asma says, as soon as you go for how people look, is free game. Yeah. Not today, Satan. 412. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I can't believe that segue only got a fucking eight. Crazy. Anyway, let's continue. Is uh drum roll please uh racist. racist and people get so like <gasps> whatever like I said yeah dude you can you if you talk about white supremacy in any way which this person is doing in a way that is exaggerated embellished and will uh subject them to a fuckload of scrutiny is it deserve scrutiny not necessarily this person is just young uh they will one hundred percent grow out of this and become you know a little bit more normal with their attitude with their takes. Okay. However, however, in the process, people are just going to fucking be insane and say, wow, it's racist that you're saying these things. When in fact, if the language that she chose to utilize in this circumstance was a little bit more understandable, maybe less people would yell at them. Except I do that all the time. And then people still yell at me and say I'm an anti white racist, even though I am white myself so that's odd but let's continue hey like people are racist like why is it such a big feel like yes you're racist like okay we've established that now what are you gonna do to change it apparently just be born another race because uh it seems like that's your come on dude being young is such a cop-out no it's not fuck you mean if it's not a cop-out for fucking dumbass right-wingers who i also believe can change why would it be a cop-out for the left it's the same principle i hold you could be a right-winger and have idiotic fucking takes and and incredibly reactionary and then grow out of those politics it's at the heart of everything i advocate for and it's the same for rad libs who say you know crazy unhinged shit what is this or pull off an ollie london only option if you're white because you said it's something you are regardless of your actions so i don't know what they're supposed to do so apparently you can be a white person just living a normal life you know treating people with respect and treating people equally but you're still racist because this person said so also it is a big deal because that is a horrible label i mean nobody wants to be labeled as racist especially if they didn't do anything wrong i think you actually have to show some evidence of someone being racist or doing a racist action if you just start calling innocent people racist then you kind of dilute the meaning of the word entirely and you can only kind of say this stuff when you're incredibly incredibly privileged because how is it you you know someone who's so oppressed is able to comfortably just say that an entire race is racist you know just by existing surely you don't <laughs> he's, he's being like you know if, if society was really racist you'd be hanging from the rafters like which is not a take i would expect from i assume he's uh is he asian is he indian i don't know what's going on there like he's not white so that's an odd thing to say because you know if they were hanging motherfuckers off the rafters like you would also <laughs> you would also not be doing well i don't know which team you think you're on once again it's not the white team, okay? I barely make the motherfucking cut. I think I make the cut every time I have this conversation. Motherfuckers go, no, you're not. Your name is Hassan. I am white, okay? <laughs> I'm white. You're not. What the fuck are you doing? Why is it that... Why is it that dudes always do this shit on YouTube, Luke? Holy fuck. What, guys, stop fucking around in the chat don't have any privilege just being able to say what you're saying i mean imagine a white person saying all black people or all brown people are x bad quality wouldn't that be racist racism refers to power and race if you are the powerful race in a society then you're racist like i just don't understand why it's so taboo Ugh, ugh it's so fucking cringe dude it's so cringe i keep like whoever is on my screen i just get so mad at like Ay, 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 ay. It is so, this, this entire thing is just such a fucking mess. I just don't. Uh, uh, at least one side I like don't agree with, but it can be a little bit more charitable towards because they're talking about like the underlying 
concepts that they are doing a horrible job describing are not incorrect, even though they are actually taking it to a level where it becomes totally incorrect. This is why I say not everyone needs to be an activist slash educator. Like, go read a book, both of you. Yeah. Two motherfuckers are having a cringe off. Yeah, straight up. On, on you know, two opposing sides of the political spectrum. It's like they're having a cringe off. Her foundation isn't uh, wrong, but her messaging is terrible. Yeah, because she didn't do the fucking reading. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, that's it. She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She heard, she learned everything off of TikTok, and now she's just like repeating. She's playing a game of telephone with concepts that she hasn't read about, really, or with concepts that she hasn't fully grasped. And she's understandably angry, okay? Uh, you know, being black in America will do that to you. That's fine. But like, you're angry, and now you're just like fucking saying stuff that is, uh, you know, coming across unhinged and will be made a mockery of by weird fucking right-wingers and those who want to be on Team White. You're taking it from a perspective of being kind to people and marginalized people want to express rage. I know, but, like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? The moment that you fucking propagandize your perspective, you're doing propaganda. You could do good propaganda. You could do bad propaganda. She's doing bad propaganda. Okay? That's it. All of your takes lack empathy. That's interesting because I empathize with both of these individuals on my screen. Uh, they are two sides of the same coin of white supremacy, ironically. So that is, you know, we're watching both of the uh, different, uh, both of the different aspects of, of a heavily racialized society and its outcomes. I, on the regular, watch his content. Just let him cook. He's not team white. Wait, really? Let's talk about it. Let's accept it so that we can work towards changing it. We're never going to get anywhere if people won't just acknowledge it in the first place. Here's probably the biggest shocking fact that you will ever hear in your entire life. The world is actually bigger than America. I don't know where this absolute... Wrong. Okay, this part I don't agree with. Wrong. That's not true. Let me tell you. I grew up in Turkey for 18 years of my life before I came to the United States of America. And you are wrong. Let me show you why. Here. When Vladimir Putin, who is supposed to be a representative of the multipolarity, is talking about J.K. Rowling, a British turf, and cancel culture, that means the world is just America. America's cultural power transcends its borders. Okay? When you got the Russian embassy of Uganda celebrating the abolition of woke culture on their Twitter account. An American institution again, owned by an American billionaire. Well, South African, now American billionaire. Multipolarity is just reduced to nothing. We dictate culture. The world is American. Every part of the world is American. You, my friend, are, again, I don't know, of, of, of uh, Asian descent, speaking the king's language. Why the fuck or how the fuck did that happen? As you sit there and say, the world is not America. In many respects, the world is America. When you got, when you got the motherfucking uh, K-pop stars wearing QAnon t-shirts, the world is America. Okay, when you got even the other side of uh, the, the multipolarity, like Hells Bolsonaro is pointing to here, celebrating African countries standing firm to protect traditional values from the Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter app's Russian embassy in Kenya account, you got no multipolarity, you got no personal culture, you got no dog in the fight. Neoliberalism turns everything into one monoculture. That's it. It's American capitalist neoliberal hegemonic culture. Bro, you shitting pants right now? It's just small parts which are not affecting culture of country and majority. You are wrong. Okay? You are fucking wrong. Every aspect of global culture is neoliberal monoculture. Okay? 
It's being sold and repackaged. When you think about like uh, Iranian opposition, you're still literally talking about a culture now that is dominated by American culture or rather standing firmly against it. That's the point. Everything on the fucking planet right now is either whatever the neoliberal monoculture is or standing firmly against it in the form of like promoting traditional values. You can't tell me that the world is not dominated by American culture and it's not just American culture without looking at the Taliban, who now has a PR team, as you guys were correctly pointing out in the chat, who are wearing skin-tight Oakleys and American tactical gear. Those motherfuckers were living in a cave like not that long ago. Six months ago, those motherfuckers have flip-flops on living in a goddamn cave. Now they're talking about how they hate having a desk job. Get the fuck out of here. I had a friend in Slovakia complaining about woke people. Bro, people in Turkey talk about woke culture. It's like, bro, you got a whole different set of issues to, to worry about. What the fuck do you mean woke culture? What the fuck do you know about woke culture, bro? You got Erdogan. What are you talking about? That's it. Let's continue. God complex comes from where they think they're the only living beings in the entire universe. For some reason, they are just unable to grasp that locations actually exist outside the United States. I mean, like, I don't know, go to Asia or something, a much larger continent and white people are no longer the majority there. I mean, in some places you literally have to go. Dude, dude, you cannot literally be an Asian man in the United States of America speaking English and act like Asia has not been almost universally dominated by Western colonial superpowers. What is happening to YouTubers? What is happening? What the fuck is the second? This is the second Asian YouTuber I'm watching, Asian American YouTuber I'm watching that is doing this like we got to defend white people at all cost shit. What the fuck? He just said that Asia doesn't have white people. Also, yeah, I'm fucking white and I'm from Asia. What, what is that? He makes a really good point. The majority in China are ethnically Chinese, so racism doesn't exist in America. Five head. Yeah. <laughs> Go through an entire country just to spot a single white person. You know what? Just for argument's sake, let's just say no other place exists other than America, right? Because you clearly live in fantasy land over here. So you can argue that, okay, this white guy who's like this random billionaire will obviously be a million times more privileged than you. But what about Joe down the street? What about that white guy that works at McDonald's for minimum? Oh, my Lord. Okay. This is a gross, perhaps deliberate, but maybe not in his case, deliberate misunderstanding of intersectionality. Class politics transcends racial dynamics. That's why I always say Oprah motherfucking Winfrey has infinitely more privilege than a random white homeless person, okay? Because Oprah Winfrey is a billionaire. Oprah Winfrey is a part of the owner class, okay? She is bourgeois. She owns capital. That's it. Nobody would ever make that argument. When we talk about race, we're talking about members in the working class. If you want to use neoliberal uh, uh, verbiage for it, okay, you can say middle class. We're talking about middle class black Americans versus middle class white Americans. We're talking about Working poor white Americans versus working poor black Americans. And in some circumstances, okay, the or in a lot of circumstances, statistically speaking, the black Americans are going to ha uh, lead to worse educational opportunities and financial circumstances overall. Because race is a factor in that moment. Race plays a role in that. The, his, the history of black people in this country plays a role in that, okay? Minimum wage, who can barely afford rent, his mom is dying of cancer or something, and he's barely getting by. Are you really going to call him extremely... Yeah, minorities can't be oppressed as white people work at McDonald's is a fucking incredible take.
the privilege and races for existing? God damn, the Cheeto dust seems to really have gone to your head. She reminds me of like an opposite Sneeko. You know, completely opposite views, but equally loony, just in the opposite direction. No yeah, except the difference is like, Sneeko is a fucking white supremacist, and this person is just like, you know, this person is just basically a, a, a fucking emotional person making an emotional argument about issues where uh, the, the underlying principles are not completely incorrect. That's an insane assertion. Saying that that person is, is equivalent to Sneeko is, is wild. God, I hate fucking people who just think they're centrist. I want to shake them. Now, for some reason, they made another video uh, clarifying that it's actually okay to be racist. It's not a bad thing. So stop getting offended that I'm calling an entire race racist, guys. It's okay. People think that being called a racist is synonymous with being called a bad person. Probably because it is. That's like calling someone a serial killer and being like, don't get mad if you didn't actually kill any people. It's a horrible label to be associated with. I never said that people are bad people because they're racist. I said they're racist. You very well can be a good person and be racist. What kind of mental gymnastics is going on here? I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you can be a good person and be racist in some extremely uh, minute scenarios. Like, I don't know, I, I'm get, I guess my grandma might probably be a little racist because, I don't know, lots of stereotypes or something. But she's lovely, obviously, so maybe you have a slight point there. But that doesn't apply to most people. Usually someone who's explicitly racist is probably a horrible person. And most people, like, I don't know, a, a boomer grandma... Not understanding that calling someone racist is going to make them mad is anti-practice. You won't be able to convince me she's just young on this issue. No, I mean, the reason why I'm saying she's young is because, like, she is. And because she is, uh, she's talking about touchy subjects that people hate hearing, okay? Especially because what she is talking about is true. Like, the underlying principles behind white supremacy and its impacts are not incorrect, but she's popping off in a way, uh, especially when so many people are going to be uncharitable to her. She's popping off in a way that makes it super easy for people to yell at her. Racism has gotten too much secondary connotation. People just react to the word. Her message is lazy, low effort pop off that turns more people into enemies than allies. The net negative, no question. It's coming from a place of hurt in many respects as well. That's so, you know... That's what I mean. It's just like, it's just make up your own fucking mind. Do a little bit of reading about these concepts instead of like feeling confident and in your opinion now that you found like a, like a easily dismissible person. People do that all the time. Uh, uh, people are going to do that to me. They do it to me all the fucking time too. They like very deliberately misunderstand what I'm saying every single time I talk about white people. I mean, it sound like there doesn't exist cultures outside of America. Of course, there are an insane amount of non-American cultures in the world, dude. Yes, no shit, brother. I'm, I'm from non-American culture. Okay? What I'm referencing in this circumstance is American cultural imperialism and how pervasive and how successful it's been in dominating the fucking planet might be racist out of like ignorance or not knowing too much about it or just different times and different ages but uh something tells me you're not talking about grandma here there are my perspective is this people are going to willingly misinterpret what you're saying anyway if you understand that we live under a white supremacist system okay if you understand that we live under a white supremacist system which you should understand right you know that people are victim to that white supremacist racialized propaganda. So you should understand that when you're talking about that sort of thing, when you pop off in a way where you're like, I'm right all the time, my interlocutors are wrong all the time, and they're all racist, and it's like a, and you make even like a, like a bio-essentialist argument, no one is going to take what you're saying seriously. And if, as a matter of fact, they're going to weaponize that against you and belittle your point. Not only that, though, even if you actually describe your positions carefully, people are still going to make sure that they bully you into submission, okay? 
That's it. The moment that you start talking about this sort of stuff, even if you choose your words carefully, people are still going to be like, nah, dog, fuck you. They do that to me all the goddamn time. They're like, Hassan is so incredibly anti-white racist. Like, I obviously benefit from being white, so it makes it a little bit more uh, laughable whenever people say shit like that. But regardless, like, I choose my words very deliberately and very carefully whenever I talk about this issue, and yet still I got motherfuckers chirping at me nonstop. Okay? You can't do that. For those who might say this is tone policing, what's the counter to that? I mean, in some respects, I think this is tone policing, but it's valid tone policing. Sometimes you got to look at people who uh, at least have, like, the right ideas but are popping off in the wrong ways and say, hey, you know, I get that this is an emotional issue, but, like, there's a better way to, to, to conduct yourself. Because she's not a random person in this point, right? The moment that she puts this video out there and it goes viral, she's now a propagandist. A good one, or supposed, it's supposed to be on the good side. I guess she's not a good propaganda. She's a very bad one, but that's it. And a lot of people can't comprehend that. In that way, what she's doing right now is no different than what I'm doing. Okay? I choose my words carefully, except for when you just don't. Fair. Uh, there are instances where I get very angry and very passionate and pop the fuck off. You aren't incorrect on that. Anyway. There are a lot of good people who are racist because these ideologies that are placed into you are exactly that placed into you, conditioned into you because we live in a sick and sad society. So of course you're going to have ideas that are sick and sad. People immediately hear racism and since that contrasts with their idea of who they are in their head, which is a good person, they jump to defend it. There is nothing to defend. You They're allowed to pop off and not cater to the whole. I mean, you're not catering to anyone in that situation then. You're just yelling at an audience that you hope is a hug box. That's it can be racist yeah i think some of the hair dye must have seeped into your brain cells over there maybe maybe one of those nose rings got lodged into your prefrontal cortex or something now you're just talking crazy okay and i love how you've actually Wait, embraced what? the ho what did what did she say that was bad no this was this part wasn't actually bad dude you are just lucky you are very correct on that I am a profoundly lucky individual, of course. I'm a fucking Twitch streamer on a video game streaming platform that happens to speak about politics for eight fucking hours every goddamn day and is one of the largest content creators on the platform. Yes, it, it, there is a, an unimaginable amount of luck. You can say the most insane shit and nobody cares. Nobody wants to give you clout. What? So no matter how racist, unhinged, moron you are, I wish that was the case. Nobody's going to mention you. I'm how did you find this account? Did you just like randomly stumble upon it? Oh, don't ban him. Because a certain content creator was just saying this and it's all over Reddit. So pop the fuck out with your racist unhinged Bolshevik garbage. I'm going to go ahead and assume that someone geared you into uh, coming in here with a sock account that you created yesterday to write this kind of shit. Which implies that, no, a lot of people actually love writing unhinged screeds about me. Bolshevik is such a funny term. No, we all know that's true. What's true? I don't know if you know this, but, you know, I wish that more of uh, these people wouldn't fucking write unhinged shit about me online. Let's finish this video with their idea of who they are in their head which is a good person they jump to defend it there is nothing to defend you can be racist yeah i think some of the hair dye must have seeped into your i i fucking missed everything that uh she was saying like i i'm just like losing it because i got derailed i'm gonna look at the transcript real quick wait how the fuck do i find the transcript on this thing there are a lot of good people who are racist because these ideologies are placed in the exactly they place in the condition because we live in a sick yeah she's saying that I mean, she's doing, uh, the, she's saying the same thing that I say all the time. Certain someone is live saying your name and talking to train and it's filtering to you just a normal Thursday. Oh, I irony that this guy came in here. Ironic that this guy came in here to say nobody actually, uh, nobody actually talks about you. Uh, literally while someone was talking about me, he got excited to come in here and write some shit. But yeah, as I was saying, um, as we were talking about before I got briefly and, and, and rudely interrupted. 
This part of the conversation is not wrong. She's saying that good people are still conditioned by, by social norms, okay? Um, people are conditioned by, by uh, you know, social learning to behave in the ways that they, they, they do, and it's not their fault for, you know, churning out racist shit. But if you recognize that, if you recognize that we are a product of white supremacist systems, then you should also recognize that the best way to cut any kind of agitated propaganda in uh, in this regard would be not to be like, you're everyone's racist, you're racist. But like, actually, it's not that bad to be racist. You know what I mean? What is this? End your pathetic live chat or do it. Don't fucking do that. I hate when uh, people pop off like that. A lot of good people who are racist because these ideologies that are placed into you are exactly that placed into you, conditioned into you because we live in a sick and sad society. So of course you're going to have ideas that are sick and sad. People immediately hear racism and since that contrast with their idea of who they are in their head, which is a good person, they jump to defend it. There is nothing to defend. You can be racist. Yeah, I think some of the hair dye must have seeped into your brain cells over there. Maybe maybe one of those nose rings got lodged into your prefrontal cortex or something. Now you're just talking crazy, okay? And I love how you've actually embraced the hot Cheeto look with that red outfit. I applaud uh, the effort. People are racist. Pretty much everyone is racist. The, the, our curriculum, everything that we see, our media, it's all racist. So of course you're going to have that in your head. Okay, I can definitely agree that there's a lot of like hidden racism in society for sure. Like if you start Thank looking God. into certain things, uh, it does okay. get a little bit sad. Okay, so this dude is not like a total fucking goober, right? Like, thank God. Uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, it took him like six minutes and 47 seconds to... to recognize that i hope that it's not just a there's a way to like you know uh hit a hit a hard but sad but i don't think you have to hold a gun to the head of people who had nothing to do with the problem in the first place and by virtue of them just existing in this world i mean imagine if you just randomly started hating doritos right i think that would be pretty racist of you being a cheeto right so i think doritos and cheetos can live in harmony without actually stepping on each other's toes. And sure, some of us may have extra cheese, a little more cheese than the other, but it doesn't change the fact that we're all chips, you know? Some people prefer Doritos. Some people prefer Cheetos. It doesn't make them racist. It's literally just society conditioned really bad ideas into your head and you're unaware that you're perpetuating them. It's not your fault that the ideas were placed into you, but it now is your burden to undo them. And that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's all you're saying. By the way, all white people. Yeah, okay, this was this entire video was just like him recognizing that like what she's saying is not wrong. It's just the way that she's saying it and then calling her a Cheeto head over and over again. Um, Weird, weird video overall. Wish you guys hadn't sent this to me. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's odd because I do agree with uh, that assessment. If uh, if we're going to be super, super, incredibly reductive, um, yes, I agree that uh, ultimately she's not wrong about the systems and how uh, it produces the attitudes that a lot of people have and internalize without even recognizing it. And, um, and also that... Uh, uh, you know, her, her optics were not great in the circumstance because the first video that she put out there that got clapped up by Libs of TikTok, who is a pathetic pervert, who literally looks for rage bait videos like this, okay, and blows it the fuck up, is, you know, uh, is, is going to weaponize things like that. You are racist. That's clearly not all you're saying, okay? This this condescending attitude acting as if you're just superior to everyone and you gotta dumb it down to our level to explain to us. Yeah, it, also she is nowhere near comparable to fucking Sneeko for that take. So frustrating. If I had a suggestion, I'd say wipe off the Cheeto dust, maybe dye your hair black again. I hear that uh, gets rid of the crazy. Click the this guy will 100% make a react video to you reacting. He's that type of creator. I video Maybe it was him who sent it to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think this dude is, like, super irredeemable. At least he, like, recognizes that, like, uh, you know, uh, there's value to what she was saying. But who knows? Maybe I'm completely wrong, and uh, he'll turn around and 
uh, say that I uh, react to YouTube videos without uh, without being there or whatever the fuck, and to say that I'm like, you know, like a bad guy or something. I don't fucking know. This person said you tend you do tend to blindly defend those who you perceive to be on your side and attack those in the out group. I agree with you, but ultimately this causes more bad than it would be good. Yeah, that's why I spent the entire video literally criticizing the girl that is supposed to be on my side and then spent the end of the video being as understanding as possible to the person who was being critical to the girl that is supposed to be on my side. That's why I think I did that, right? Like, the video that I was watching and responding to when you wrote this comment is exactly the opposite of what your comment was. He said, you're allowed to say both are wrong in an argument, which is what I did say. I did say that. So this is another particular instance where you agree with me, okay? You're just conditioned, I suspect, uh, into thinking that uh, I'm wrong in this. You really didn't do that in this case, in my opinion. What do you mean? <sighs> you were good in covering both sides, but you certainly started off harder on him than you needed to. I mean, he came up, he came out of the gate swinging, saying that this girl was like, he had Cheeto dust hair and shit. You know what I mean? And uh, they were both being cringe, which I stand by. I think they were both being cringe, objectively. 